In this problem, we're converting between what are called compound units. In this case, it's uh, feet per second or meters per second. So that feet per second, you have two kinds of units there, the feet and the seconds. So we call that a compound unit. Let's read the problem. It says, a parachutist's speed during a free fall reaches 132 feet per second. That's pretty fast. What is this speed in meters per second? At this speed, how many meters will the parachutist fall during 20 seconds of free fall? In your computations, assume that one meter is equal to 3.3 feet. Do not round your answers. All right, well, there's two parts here. Let's put off the second part. Let's just figure out how to convert feet per second into meters per second. They are telling us that one meter is equal to 3.3 feet. So I'm going to convert that into a ratio. I'll put one meter on top and 3.3 feet on the bottom. And then I'll make the other version of this, which is 3.3 feet on the top and one meter on the bottom. We're going to use one or the other of these. I don't know which yet. We'll figure that out when we set up the problem. Now, we have 132 feet per second. Feet per second. And I am going to put a 1 on the bottom here. And we're going to multiply this by one of these. And what we want, if feet is here on top, over here we want feet to be on the bottom so it can cancel. So that looks like this one. So let me grab that. So that's what we will multiply by. On the top, we're going to multiply uh, 132 by 1. So that's just going to be 132. And the feet will cancel. So we're going to get meters per second. And on the bottom, we've got 1 times 3.3. So I've got 132 over 3.3. That's a division problem. So I'm going to punch into my calculator 132 divided by 3.3. And I get 40. Nice round number. So this is 40 meters per second. OK, we've converted it. Now let's look at that second part of the problem. It says, at this speed, how many meters will the parach parachutist fall during 20 seconds of free fall? Well, if this is how many meters you fall every second per second, if I want to know how many meters he'll fall in 20 seconds, I would just multiply that. So 40 times 20. And that is going to be 800 meters in 20 seconds. So that is a little bit of work with converting between compound units.